Do you utilize Salesforce? Well, let me show you how to integrate it with JotForm. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, if you currently utilize Salesforce and you have a JotForm account, you can easily search for JotForm in the App Exchange. Now, if you don't already have a JotForm account and you are looking for a form builder, you can search for it in App Exchange and you can start your JotForm account for free. So let me show you how to build your first form within Salesforce. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my JotForm tab. And you can see now that we are integrated, it is just like having JotForm within Salesforce. So I'm gonna to go to the top left-hand corner. We're going to create a form. And we have some different options than normal. We have start from scratch. We have create a Salesforce form. We have use a template, import a form, and create a signable document. So for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a template. Now, if there is something specific that you're looking for, you can always utilize the search bar right up here at the top. But I like to utilize the section on the left-hand side, right over here, it says type. So what type of form am I wanting to build in my Salesforce account? So I think today, let's go ahead and build an application form. So we'll choose right here. And we can take a quick scroll and see if something jumps out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this identity verification form. So we can click on the preview option to get a good idea of what's going to be included in this form. And once we're good, we can go ahead and use template. Now let's go ahead and take a quick scroll because right down here, I saw that we have a signature field. So one thing that you can do within Salesforce is you can turn this field into jot form sign. So right over here, it says we have that sign automation. And yes, we would like to enable jot form sign automation and we'll choose the email field, perfect. And if we'd like to send an audit trail, we can do that as well. And we are good to go. So let's go ahead and go back over to build. And we can see right here, it is now powered by JotForm Sign. Over on the right hand side, we have our form designer. So if we want to change the way this looks, we can do that here. But right underneath, we have that Salesforce integration. So if I click here, we have the opportunity to create a record or we can find an existing record. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and choose to create a record. Next, we're gonna choose which object. I'm gonna go ahead and choose an account object. And you can see Salesforce has already mapped its object fields to our element fields. So the only one that's left blank is the account name and that's because our full name form field is two different fields. So it wants to know, do we want the entire name or the first name or the last name? So for this, we're gonna go ahead and put the entire full name. And if you added fields or you'd like to map any additional fields, we can do that right here. Let's go ahead and do next. And before we save, it's wanting to see if we would like for it to look for existing records. So that way there's no duplicates. And let's go ahead and turn that on just in case. And I would like for it to search for that account name. Perfect, we'll save. Now, one thing that I would like to mention before we go preview and fill out the form is if you have multiple people in this process that need to either maybe approve or deny the form, you can utilize JotForm approvals within this Salesforce integration. So up in the top left-hand corner, we can come over here and we can drop down to approvals and we can play with that as well. We can add approvers and deniers. But let's go ahead, let's preview this form and I'm going to choose the fill form button. Then we'll go ahead and scroll down and we'll do our signature here and we'll continue. And you can see this pop up right here. And this is because we have that jot form sign automation turned on. It says, I understand, except that my electronic signature will be as valid as a handwritten signature and considered original in the extent allowed by applicable law. So let's go ahead and sign the document. Perfect. So if we jump out of the preview, all of that information that was just collected also lives in JotForm tables. So in the top left hand corner, we're going to jump from form builder over to our tables. And you can see all of our information. Perfect. As well as a signature, as well as our signed documents. Now to verify that she is in our account tab, I'm going to head up to the very top right now. We're in our jot form tab. If I jump to the next one, my account tab, we see Lainey right down here. And if we'd like to click on her name, we pull up her entire profile. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate JotForm with Salesforce, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.